functional strength training is gone, Pilates starts. All right, let's sit on our sit bones. You can have one leg out if you need to, head over tailbone, uh, shoulder, hip, and ear in alignment, belly button to the spine, inhale out, exhale the ceiling, and inhale down. And exhale up and inhale down, and exhale up and inhale down, and exhale over to the first side. You're pushing toward the wall this time, not curling down. Get your head over your tailbone and the bicep over your ear. You wanna push the glute of the opposite leg down so that you have yourself planted and the stretch moves out of that anchor. Put your hand on your ear and take your head across. Make sure your head is over your tailbone, that shoulder is down. So you're going to inhale back across, rotate for an exhale. This is our side turn. Now, for some people, the side turn is, a, is enough of a twist. And so going into the spinal twist is a little more complicated. So if you're one of those people, stay in the side turn. If you're not, put your hand on your thigh, take your other hand behind, behind you. Big inhale and exhale, turn. Big inhale and exhale, turn. Big inhale and exhale, turn, and hold it right there. Lift yourself out of your sit bones. Take three breaths. Inhale to prepare, exhale, bring it back to the center. Roll your shoulders back twice, roll your shoulders forward twice, and change your legs. Again, you need to be on your sit bones, whatever you have to do to keep yourself even and not complicate your knees. Inhale up, exhale easily, and inhale down. And exhale up and inhale down, and exhale up and inhale down. Exhale up, inhale, and exhale. It's pushing to the other wall. Again, bicep is over the ear, head is over the tailbone, belly button spike, don't fall back. Don't roll forward. You want to get that nice big stretch. Breathe into it. Hand on the ear, guide it across. Make sure that shoulder is down. Then inhale across and rotate on the exhale. Again, some people might stay at this side turn. Perfectly good. It's great. It extends your internal and external obliques. Or you put your hand on your thigh, take it up, bring it around. Big inhale and exhale. Big inhale and exhale. Big inhale, exhale, lift yourself out of your tailbone. Breathe three times. You are amazing. Inhale to prepare and exhale, bring it back. Hands come out, clap them together, push the palms forward and get that nice arm stretch. All right, take your legs into seated butterfly. Put your arms in front of your ears, fold forward over your legs, now down to your legs. So you're shooting out of your lumbar to your fingertips. Nice. Now palms to the ceiling, elbows come down, curl yourself up. Let's get those hips opened up. As you can see, this warm up tries to get every muscle group that we use a lot in Pilates. So we get those obliques, we get those hips, we get those the uh, three parts of the abdominals, we get shoulders. Right, so all that stuff that we use, the neck, four more, and three, and two, and one, and let's get right into our sitting workout. We're going to start with a roll-up. We're going to do four regular roll-ups, and then we're going to do four turned roll-ups, and then we're going to do two with a butterfly position. So let's start with our regular ones. So I'd like you to have a weight. You don't have to, but it'd be cool to have a weight. And it actually helps in a roll up because it gives you propulsion. <laughs> so first we've got to get ourselves in the Pilates position. So you're just gonna hold this weight right here for now. I want you to feel your body. Lift those knee, lift those glutes up, take them down the mat, zip up, pull those abs up under that rib cage and really get it nice and long. So I'm gonna start you with the supported roll up. It's going to have the reaching. So if you need the supported one, this is where you start with your knees, bent your feet in front of your knees. If you don't, then just start with your legs extended and you know what to do. So the first part is inhale, bring those weights above the chest, curling into your chest. Exhale, reach toward the ceiling in a diagonal with your feet pushing out. Then take it over the top of your legs and then back up and then curl yourself all the way down. I'll do one more with the supported legs. So inhale up, exhale, push out and lift, take it across, push it up, and slowly bring it all the way down. Now I'm gonna take it out to extended legs. 
Inhale up, push to the ceiling, push it across, push it back up, and inhale and exhale, bring it all the way down. Number four, inhale up. These are the last, last of the ones that will be straight up. Take it across, inhale up, inhale and exhale all the way down. Now, you're gonna come up to a turn. So you can pick whatever side you want to. Inhale up, exhale to a turn, take it across, turn the other way, bring it to the center, and curl it all the way down. We're gonna do three more of those. Inhale, exhale to a turn, take it to the front, bring it over to the turn, to the front, and bring it all the way down, two more. Curl it to the turn, take it to the front, lift it to the turn, and bring it back to the center. Inhale and exhale all the way down. Last one of these. Inhale, exhale to the turn, take it across, up to the turn, and bring it all the way back down. Now, put your legs into um, incline butterfly, so the bottom of the feet are together. This is gonna be straight without the reach. We only have two of these. So inhale, exhale, take it across. Inhale and bring it all the way back down, one more. Inhale and exhale, take it across. Inhale and exhale, bring it all the way back down. Nice job. Drop your knees to the front and bring yourself up. So that was the first of our weighted seated exercises. Good, so our second one, is going to be rows. So we're seated in our, on our sit bones. We point the feet, we bring those legs together into Pilates position. I want you to get in position before you pick up your weight. And you can do this again without a weight. You can do it with the top, you can do it with the strap, you can do it with your hands. Now, what happens in the row is you come back on your tailbone a little bit, right, in order to get that rowing position. What's really important is that your elbows come to your side, right? So don't, it, right, they come to your side. So you're gonna hold that weight in a very particular way. We go in two directions for 20. So uh, it's a head of a tailbone. If you need a mat for your tailbone, that's uh, probably smart. So put those elbows by your waist, the weight is in front of you. You're gonna take it over, lower it down, row back, and one. Good, two, so this is a flop. We really don't stop it at three. And four, nice. Five, use that breath. Six, seven, eight, good. Nine, and more. One, elbows go back. Two, they don't go out to the side. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, reach, reach, and 20. Now we're gonna do those in the opposite direction, but I want you to take your weight away for a second, roll your shoulders, back twice, get your head over your tailbone, and roll your shoulders forward twice. Good. Bring that weight back. Take yourself back. Roll it down, and then lift it up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, Eight, nine, <clears throat> ten more. Good job. <clears throat> ten, you've got it. Nine, good. Eight, seven, six, five, perfect. Four, sorry, I got here. Three, mm, two, and one, I know we're getting some shoulder work, right? So let's take that down. 
You're not going to need it for the next exercise, but I want you to take one leg on top of the other if you can and bring your chest down and up. And then if you could do the other side, I can't. Uh, I really did something to it during body sculpting. Bring your chest down. All right, for the next seated exercise, we're going to do open leg rocker. It's one of our favorites. And I, I claim that this is a seated exercise, okay? We're going to do 10 of these, right? So we know our opening position is to bring the legs in, and we're going to seat curve. We take those legs off the floor, and we prepare by taking one leg up and feeling the extension of that leg. And we're nice and hearty and strong, and our chest comes through our legs. All right, then the other side. Nice. And then bring it back. Now I want you to lift through, drop your shoulder plates, lift through. I know it's easy to curl into this. Take both legs up. Beautiful. See that seated. I can bring it back down. I want you to rock forward and come into a little bit of a curl, stretching your hips so you're ready for the 10 rockers. All right? Remember, you can also put your legs under your thighs. I usually do after I get going. You don't want your legs to throw at all. So take both legs up, rock back, and one. Hold it there. Rock back, and two. Pull the belly button to the spine. Rock back, and three. Four. Doesn't this feel good? Yes. Five. Hold it. Six. Nice. You're saying, why are we doing 20 of these? They're so easy. Seven. Good. Eight. Nine. Good job. And 10. And back to the front. So we're still sitting. Seated. And our legs are out. The shoulder width apart. Pull yourself over that tailbone. Lift. Now, a lot of people put a little pillow there just on the edge to make sure they're on their sit bones. That's perfectly acceptable. So is bending your knees a little bit. Arms are out to the side. These are doubles. We're gonna do doubles to one side, doubles to the other, and then alternating sides. So it's one, two, center. One, two, center. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, long arms. Nine, don't flex those wrists. 10 more, keep those feet flexed. One, good, that's the part to flex. Two, three, nice. Four, good job. Five, I'm in the background. Six, seven, eight, nine, you've got it. And 20, other side. One, two, three, flex those feet. Four, don't let, lose it. Don't lose your posture. Five, good. Six, nice. Seven, eight, nine, ten more. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, good. Three, nice. Two, you've got it, and one. Ah, both sides, doubles and doubles only for a set of 10. Over and over, that's one. Over and over two. Over and over three. Over and over four. Five, this also feels like a massage. Six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. And relax those shoulders, roll the shoulders back and roll the shoulders forward. I'm trying to alternate between seated exercises using our shoulders and not using our shoulders. So you're gonna come over onto your glute right here. You're doing 90-90 with your legs. So that's the front leg is at a 90 degree angle, the back leg is at 90 degree angle. You're gonna lift and lower that back leg straight up and down, two, three, point the foot, four, and mine flex, five, six, Seven, eight, nine, ten, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven.
seven, it doesn't go far, eight, nine, and 20. Hold it up there, knee goes to the ceiling. One, two, three. You count this as sitting, even though it's on one hip, right? Four, I thought it was better than mermaid today. Five, six, seven, eight, lift, nine, 10, one, two, three, four, five, right to the front, six, seven, eight, nine, hold it here on 20, it goes up, one, two, I'm gonna support that knee today, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10 more, 10, nine, eight, seven, six, good job, five, four, three, two, and one, cross it over, bring it up, we'll come back to that position, but more in an upright position after we do our interlude and the other side. Our interlude is a Russian twist, grab your weight, take your feet off your floor, Sit back, make sure you have a pad. One, two, three, four elbows are at waist. Five, six. You can have your feet down if you need to. Seven, you can be lying down if you need to. Ten more. Ten, nine, eight, seven, good. Six, five, good. Four, three, two, and one. Both sides. All right, other side. Sit in the mer or sit in zigzag to begin. 90 90, and then we come over. Lift and lower the back. One, two, stay lifted. Three, four, point that foot. Five, I always start with flex. Six, seven, a little bit higher. Eight, nine, ten more. Good. Ten, nine, eight. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one to the ceiling. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, ten, nine, eight, seven. Six, five, four, three, two, push it out. One. So you exhale back too, because that's the original uh, neutral spine. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, ten more. Ten, nine, doesn't have to be all the way straight. Eight, seven, Six, five, feeling it. Four, three, two, and one. Cross it over and sit up. All right, now we go to sawing our toes off. Flex your feet. We'll be back into that position soon. Arms go out, take it over. One, two, bring it up and across. One side at a time. Down, one, two, lift and two. Ten of everything. Down, one, two, lift and three. Down, one, two, lift, and four. This is such a nice stretch on the back, lift, and five. Down, one, two, lift, and six. Down, one, two, lift, and seven. Down, one, two, lift, and eight. Down, one, two, lift, and nine. Down, one, two, lift, other side. Down, one, two, lift, and one. Down, one, two, Lift and two, across and down. Good, three, across and down. Nice, four, across and down. Good, five, nice, six, seven, nice, eight, good, nine, nice, and 10. Both sides, take it over, saw, lift, across. Over, saw, lift, across. Over, saw, go straight to the other side. Good, nice. This is set four. 
This is set five. Go right across to the other side. Six, six, and seven. Nice. And eight. Good. Good. And nine. Nice. And 10, do both sides, good. And across, and we are back to Mermaid. This time we're high. So we're here and we stay lifted. I know it's a lot harder. And if you need to go down, that's okay. Go all the way down to the floor if you want to. But we're gonna take this leg next to this leg, right here in this position and take it down and one. So right away, it's not as hard as we do the lifts three, but I'm not promising that it won't stay easy. Five, good. Six, keep your body lifted. You don't have both glutes on the floor. Eight, I know you're asking that in your mind. Nine, do I have both glutes on the floor? 10, 10 more. 10, this is fairly easy. Nine, it's like flapping your leg. Eight, seven, it won't stay that way. Six, last five. And four, and three, and two, and one. All right, put the foot behind the other foot, and you're going to wrap your arm right here and lift and down. Two, keep yourself lifted. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10, 10 more, one, two, three, four, good, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 20. Now let that rest there, come onto the toe with your other leg, arm is overhead, they come together, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, you feel that crunch? Nine, 10, 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. We're gonna take that on the other side, but we have our transition, grab your weight. All right, knees to the chest, out, good, two, three, Four. Now you have an option of putting your hands down, no weight. Five, six, or no weight at all. Seven, eight, or lying down. Ten, ten, nine, eight, seven. It's not a leg flap, it's a knee crunch. Six, five, four, three, two, and one. All right, over to the other side. <clears throat> a lot of variety today, huh? Again, to Mermaid, bring that leg behind. Make sure you're on your hand, not your elbow. If you can, down and one. Down and two. Three, this is behind. Four, five, good. Don't move the rest of your body. Six, you wanna put an arm up to make yourself long. Seven, eight, that's a great position. Or just right here, nine. 10 more, good legs. 10. Nine, there should be no movement on the other cheek. Eight, seven, six, five, good. Four, three, two, and one. All right, you move it closer in and wrap it, bring it up and one. Lift and two, three. Didn't know you could do a whole class seated. I could do three classes just seated. Five. Six, seven, of course, I have a broad interpretation of what sitting is. Nine, eight, nine, 10 more, 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Put your toe up, arm over overhead. One, two, now, if you're pushing into your wrist at all, three, you need to move it closer, four, for one thing, five, and get your body centered, six, or come down on your elbow, seven, eight, nine, ten, ten, nine, eight, 
seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. All right. All right, we're still seated. And guess what? We need our weight. Our legs are out in front of us. We're going to do a C curl. So bring the weight in front of your eyes, soften your elbows, and curl down and up for one. Don't straighten all the way up. Stay in your C curl. Down and two. This is really very, very technical. Rolling down vertebrae by vertebrae, staying in the C curve. And three. So keep going. What does that C curve mean? Down, that means you have your back opened. Four. So instead of straight flat, you have your back open. And you do that down by sinking into that belly button. And that opens up your back. Five. Down. And six. Don't straighten. Down. Just bring yourself up. Seven. Pilates. Consider this an intermediate exercise. Down and eight. Down and nine. Good. Down. Ten more. You're getting a lot of residual shoulder today. Down and one. Down and two. Down and three. Good job. Down and four. You've got to keep going. Down. If you need to put your arms down, that's fine. And five. You can put them out in front of you. Down and six. Let them up because I think that makes a nice long line. Down and seven. Down and eight. Down and nine. Down and ten. Now you can straighten up and put that weight down. I want you to cross one leg over the other and lean into, just lean. Don't come into a fold, just lean forward. Feet are crossed and you're gonna bring yourself up and cross them the other way and lean forward. All right, your next seated position is without your weight. Now you have lots of options for this. I'm gonna give you can can. So you can put do it on your hands, can, can, can extend. You can do it without your hands, can, can, can extend. You can do it on your elbows, can, can, can extend, and you can do it lying all the way down. So you figure out the, the position you're gonna use. We're doing 10 sets with some extensions. I'll show you what we're gonna do when we get there. And I want you. I want you to pick your position. If you need to change, come up out of it and put yourself back into it. Don't just clump into a change in the middle, okay? I'm gonna do hands, all right? Legs to the center, side, 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 one. Side, 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 two. Side, 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 three. Side, 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 four. Side, 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 five. Side, 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 six. Side, 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 seven. Side, 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 eight. Side, 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 nine. Side, 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 10. Now up and down to the side. Two. This is 23. Now what's hard here? Four is not bending that elbow. Five, that the leg is on. Six, I want you to keep yourself as lifted, lifted as possible. Seven, good. Eight, nine, shoulder blades down. 10, 10. A nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Other side. One, two, chest stay center. Three. So no turning your whole body over. Four. You have to use your hip flexor. Five. Good. Six, seven, eight. A lot of people, it's easier on your elbows. Ten. 10 more, 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Take it forward to a flex. Lift yourself out of your tailbone, roll your shoulders back, and take yourself up into a reverse plank. Put the ground there. 
Breathe into it. Nice. Just 30 more seconds. Nice. We're going to flex a little bit. Like a cramp. 20 more seconds. This feels good. Pull your belly button to your spine. Last 15. And lower it down. Good job. One leg in. You're seated. All right. How are we doing here, folks? Doing good? All right. Genie arms. It's going to be really hard. Flex the bottom leg. You're lifted lower the whole set toward the elbow. Can. Lift and one. Lift and two. Three. We're going to go back a little bit. Four. So you might need your pad. Five. Six. Seven, eight, nine, ten more, ten, nine. If this is too hard on your back, eight, try to come down here and seven, and you could do it in six, just like that. Five, and that will feel good on your back. Four, good job. Three, and two, and one. So never quit when something hurts. Wait for me to give the modification, okay? I listen for it. Sometimes I say it, but I don't demo it. I demoed it this time. Can you take the genie arms in the other direction? So if you had the right over the left, take the left over the right, etc. Let's go. Flex that foot. One. This is harder. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, ten, nine, eight. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Open wide and come on over. Not all the way down, just a hinge. Good job. All right, back into that seated position. You're like, wait a minute. That wasn't fun. Now, this one is going to be the opposite of that one, all right? We're going to use our upper body. Put your hand beside your glute. The other foot is flexed. You have a foot into the side right here. You're going to go up for 10. One, come down. Two, center. Three, good job. Four, nice. Five, another movement that's like a stretch. Six. Seven, we love those. Eight, nice. Nine, and 10. Bring it down, lift yourself to the center, and switch sides. It's really good if you can have both feet on something padded, right? Hand beside the glute, flex the long leg, arm comes in front, head over tailbone, don't be. Push it into that arm, right? One, center, two, three, good job. Nice, four, five, six, seven, eight, good job, nine, and and bring it down. Okay, our last seated exercise. All right, thirty-three. I'm gonna I'm gonna be finishing uh, inside of forty minutes because I have to uh, get to a meeting. So got a little late because of your box. Okay, you can guess what the final seated one is. I bet you could guess. I bet I don't even have to say anything. Teaser, of course, that's seated exercise, right? So I'll tell you the uh, supported teaser for the first four, and then go into the regular teaser for the last six. Take a nice deep breath. Now that you chin down, separate your entire body. Put your legs to tabletop. It's again, it's a breath accomplishment. So you inhale and push it out, exhale. Inhale and exhale. Two, extend, 
bend and good. Three, extend, bend and down. Four, extend, bend, and now we're going all the way down. Last six. Take a nice deep breath if you haven't yet, all right? So you're gonna hover the feet and upper body off the floor and then bring them together. So lift and five, bring it down, good. Lift and six, bring it down, nice. Lift and seven, good. Four more, three more. Lift and eight, good, nice. Lift and nine, perfect. Go get those shoulders by your ears. Lift and ten, and hold it right there. And bring your knees in, drop them, put your hands behind you and drop them behind you. Behind the screen. And drop them in front. Get that hip twist. Put them together. Let's do a lift the tabletop, reverse tabletop. Feels good. Yeah. And then glutes down. So forward. And right here. Oh my goodness, how fun was that? Let's start with the 90-90 stretch. Inhale out, exhale across, push to the wall, get out of that hip. Now in this one, both cheeks should be on the ground, head over tailbone. And then when you come across, remember you grab onto the leg and you take it up. Nice. Then you come across and rotate. Feels <clears throat> so good, right? Your hand on your thigh, and then bring it around. Big inhale and exhale. Big inhale and exhale. Big inhale and exhale, and lift and lift. And bring it back to the center, and then roll it out. Roll it back in. 90-90 on the other side. Go up. Exhale. out of your tail, tailbone, and then bring it over and stretch. And then bring it over and turn. Take it around, into it, and rotate. Bring it back to center and come on down. Crawl up and take them out. All right, get on your sit bones. You can bend your knees if you need to. Arms to cactus. Use shoulders a lot today. So hold it there. Now slowly inch it back if it doesn't hurt any part of your shoulder. And then lower the elbows to the waist. Get that open chest. Put the fingers down behind the legs and then drop the shoulder blades. Roll them back four times. And then pull. Turn your body toward one leg and walk it out. Curling down, not a plank this time, curling down. So we're not reaching to the other wall, we're coming down to the side. Elbows are soft on each side. I want you to stay here for about 20 seconds and breathe into it. Good. Five more seconds. Now I want you to move the chest behind that leg. Put your hands on your floor, on the floor long. Then you get that nice hip stretch. Right, look down between those thumbs. Walk it back over the leg, then slide your hand out, and then bring your arm overhead. Take your ear, 
lift yourself up and take it across bring your hand in the center so that shoulder is down then you're rotating toward the other leg and crawling down it I would like you to have 20 seconds here Here, hands behind that leg, long arms, flat back. Uh oh, so there's your even, they're parallel. And bring that arm across and then over the top. Facing forward, staying the line. Take the ear and bring yourself over, drop that hand in the middle. And back to center, walking out in the front, curling down into the front, too. Chest to the floor. Inhale up for long arms. Exhale all the way back to the floor. Put your hands on the legs. Now the shins. And then spider. So bend the arms out and then curl your body up and bounce those legs out. Good. Hold the knees. Put the hand, if you can, put the hands together and push through the palms. Drop the shoulder blades intentionally. Release it down. Bottom of the feet together. Hinge forward, not very far. I want you to feel a diagonal coming up with the tailbone to your head, looking ahead on the floor, looking at the bottom of my tripod. There's no push on the back of your neck. Roll yourself up, arms overhead, push and push and push and push for more, four and three and two and one. We're gonna breathe it up three times, take it up. And down, two more up, and down. And last time, thank you everybody for coming to Pilates.